Hey, good morning. Dr. Fabian Garcia here, owner of Fabian Garcia Physical Therapy along with Marissa Tio, assistant and FRC mobility specialist. So what we wanted to go over now was a proper hip capsule stretch. Uh, we're not even going to go into the pails and rails. It's a lot more complicated than people actually give it credit for. That's actually going to be done under our professional supervision here. Now with the hip capsule stretch, what Marissa is going to do is that she's going to go into a split stance position. So right now she has the intention of stretching out her right anterior capsule. Now, a couple of little details that she's doing perfectly right off the bat. That back foot, never plantar flexed, always dorsiflexed. So do it the wrong way for a second, yeah, you don't want that. Do it the right way, why? Because you're actually stretching out your hip flexor in what mimics a squat position, which is a dorsiflex position. Second. She actually wants to maintain a posterior pelvic tilt, very, very tight. So she's gonna show an anterior pelvic tilt. That's the wrong way to do it. Now she's gonna show a posterior pelvic tilt, lock that pelvic tilt. By locking that pelvic tilt, you're making sure that you're stretching the deeper hip flexor muscles or tissue, as opposed to just launching straight into it and just stretching the hell out, just the anterior capsule. You really don't want that type of mobility. We actually want to actually communicate with the deeper elements, in this case, the uh, psoas major and also the pectineus. Now, from this position right there, she's going to maintain a neutral spine, which is facilitated by that posterior pelvic tilt, and just slightly shift her hips forward, almost like there's a hand pushing right through the right glute with a little arrow, right there's perfect, driving right through. Now, anytime you're doing any prescription for stretching, always two to five minute holds. And what I want you to do is drive parasympathetic breathing so you can drive innervation that will actually pretty much calm the muscle down if you want to calm muscle. I'm not crazy about using the word muscles, but I have to kind of in this context. So what Marissa is doing is from this position, she's driving a four to eight second exhale which is gonna drive parasympathetic innervation into the front of that hip. So she's gonna breathe in one more time, one, and five second exhale, five, four, three, two, one. She's gonna hold the stretch for about 10 more seconds. I am personally a fan of only mobilizing during exhales. I try to mobilize and snake out one or two degrees only when I'm actually communicating with the parasympathetic system. As a result, my breathing creates windows of opportunity where I can snake one or two more degrees on this. This is done flawlessly. Again, hold these for three to five minute um, stretches at a time, periods of uh, time. All the research shows that if you want to stretch a muscle, hey, that's awesome, but stretching a muscle only creates an analgesic effect. If you want to induce a little bit more of a deeper communication with your joint and your fascia, Stretches have to be held and hold for three to five minutes. Thank you for your time.